Yo, what's up everybody? It's your boy Flaws, back again with another video. And today we're gonna take a look at the brand new Google Nexus 7, made by Asus. Now, shout out to everybody who's seen the video I did for the original Nexus 7 on a scale of one to 10. I gave this one a go. And you already know the new Nexus 7 is definitely gonna be a go because it's basically the same tablet with better specs and some added features. So without beating around the bush, let's get right into it. First, let's talk about the price. Now I got the 16 gig version, that one will run you 229. So 229 plus tax, you're looking at about 250. It also comes in 32 gig, that one is 269. So plus tax, you're looking at almost 300. I didn't need the 32 gig because I got Dropbox, I got Google Plus, I got Google Music. So a lot of my stuff is stored in the cloud and I also have about 10 other tablets, so I didn't really need that. But um, if this is gonna be your daily driver, it's up to you whether you get 16 or 32. So let's take a look at the box. Nice presentation right here, simple and plain. As you can see, it kind of looks like the number seven. They kept that from the original Nexus. Like I said, it's made by Asus. As you can see by the stick on the back, it's officially floor certified. I'm definitely feeling this tablet. 16 gig version, Wi-Fi only. All right, so that's it for the box, but a nice presentation. So when you take the sleeve off, simple and clean, just got the Google branding on it. And that's basically, you know, this is just a little outline about this tablet. It's a very simple, very clean stock Android. So it's just like the box, it's a stock box. No branding or nothing on it, just Google. So when you take it out, you get the actual tablet right here. When you open this up, Say it with me, fellas. You get the usual books and shit. You get your micro USB cable. Now, one thing about this cable that I noticed is it's kind of short. You know, I'm used to Samsung and I'm used to, you know, other companies with these long cables so you can plug it in from, you know, under your desk and have it reach all the way to your, your desktop cradle or whatever. But um, this, this cable right here is a little bit on the short side. Let me, let me peel this off. if you could get the plastic off of it. But that's what I get for not looking. Well, fellas, I'm not even gonna deal with this right now, but the cable is kind of short. You see it got tangled up a little bit, but it is what it is. And you get your wall adapter. All right, so that's what you get inside the box. That's it. Now, I really wanted to show you how short this cable was because that was one thing I wasn't feeling about this, but it doesn't matter because you could use basically any micro USB cable. So if you got a Samsung one laying around, use that one. So that's it, that's all you get inside the box. Now let's take a look at the actual tablet. Let's try to get in focus here. All right, let's peel the plastic off. Now of course I already opened this up, but I just threw the plastic back on for dramatic effect. The tablet itself looks beautiful. Beautiful, nice and sleek. Nice unibody design. So let's go around the tablet so you can see what's on um, each side and what's on the back and all of that. On the right side, you got your power button, you got your volume up and down, you got your microphone. On the back, you got a five megapixel camera, no flash. You got your Nexus branding on the back, little company branding, Asus. You also have your stereo speakers. So you got speakers on the top, speakers on the bottom. On the bottom you have your micro USB connection port. On the left side, you got nothing. On the top, you got your 3.5 millimeter headphone jack. On the front, you got your 1.2 megapixel camera with your sensor. And on the bottom, you can't see here, but you got an LED sensor. So when you get notifications, you got a nice LED light. Now, let's talk about specs real quick. Y'all know I don't really like to focus on specs, but since this is an unboxing, let's hit the specs up real quick. The weight on this tablet is um, 0.64 pounds, which means that it's not even one pound. It's very, very light, okay? So not even one pound. The screen size is seven inches. It's full 1080p, all right? Full 1080 screen. Now, fellas, I know you heard this before, but the display on this is ridiculous. 
This actually has the best display out of any tablet on the market right now. Okay, out of any tablet that you've seen on the market, better than the iPad Retina display, better than the Nexus 10, better than anything that's out right now. This is 1920 by 1200, which is 303, uh, 323 PPI. What does that mean to the average person? It just means that it's crystal clear, super sharp, all your colors pop out. It's, the screen on this is amazing. That's the only word I could use. It's, it's definitely amazing. Now, keep in mind that this comes with scratch-resistant Gorilla Glass, you know, made by Cornyn. So the Gorilla Glass on this, so you should, this should definitely not get scratched up. We're going to put that to the test in a little bit. The battery on this now is no removable battery, no removable back cover, but the battery is 3,950 milliamps. Now, I've been playing with this for a couple of days. I used it for eight hours straight, and I still had a little bit of battery left. So the battery on this is pretty good. The processor is 1.5 gigahertz Qualcomm Snapdragon S4 Pro. What does that mean to the average person? That means that it's very fast. All right, it's a fast processor, no lag at all. Okay, beautiful. It's quad core, you got two gigs of RAM. You got NFC and Bluetooth. So this way, if you got your uh, Epic keyboard or your Magic Cube, you could definitely Bluetooth it up to this with a nice dock. All right, NFC built into the back, and wireless charging is also built into it. So now if you got one of those fancy wireless chargers, which I will be reviewing in a couple of days, you're going to be able to wireless charge this, and it's just going to look sick. Stereo speakers, like I mentioned before, made by um, Fran Hoffer. I forgot the name of it, but stereo surround speakers, how do they sound? I'll get into that in a real review, but um, not to bust your bubble. They're not all that. But they say stereo surround. It's better than having just one speaker on the bottom. At least you have two now. But they're still on the back. So when you're holding the tablet, you're gonna, still going to be covering up the speakers. So whatever. So you got stereo speakers now. So let's take a look at the old Nexus 7 real quick, just so you can get a size comparison. If you put them side by side, they pretty much look almost, look almost about the same size. But if you stand them up, you can see the new Nexus... Let me see if I could get into focus. If you see the new Nexus, it's a little bit taller and a little bit thinner. See, they exactly side by side. It's a little bit thinner and a little bit taller. So what's the main differences between the original Nexus 7 and the new Nexus 7? Well, first off, if you look at the back, on the old Nexus 7, you don't have a camera. So now with the new Nexus 7, you got a camera. The camera's 5 megapixel. The camera's not all that great. But keep in mind, you know, it's good to have a camlet, uh, camera on everything that you have. So this way now, if you happen to be on the train or the bus and you're using a tablet and something pops off right in front of you, all you got to do is switch over, take a quick picture, and you can put it up on Instagram. You know what I'm saying? You can send it to me. I'll put it on World Star Hip Hop. Whatever. But at least you always have a camera ready just in case. So that's one of the main differences from the original Nexus 7 and the new Nexus 7. Now you have a camera. Okay? Also, one of the big differences if you look at the bottom, on the new Nexus 7, no headphone jack on the bottom. On the old Nexus 7, you got the headphone jack on the bottom. So now on the new Nexus 7, the headphone jack is at the top. Personally, I prefer the headphone jack at the top. This way, when you're sitting around and, you know, you're sitting in your car, you're sitting in your house, you don't have that cord running right through your lap. You know, I'd rather have the headphone jack on the top. This way, if somebody else want to listen to something, you just pull it out, let them push, um, push, push the headphones right in and listen to whatever you're playing. All right, so that's a good look. Or if you got headphone splitters, like sometimes I'm um, like if I'm on the train or if I'm taking a flight somewhere, I put the headphone splitter in. This way, me and my shorty can listen to the same music library. But this way, it don't have to be coming through my lap. Okay, so so some of the differences, you got the camera on the back. That's a big difference on the new one. Headphone jack on the top. Also, a big difference is on the original Nexus 7, you could take this back piece off. Now, one time I had to reset this. So I actually took the back, the back plate off, and I was playing around with the insides and all of that. So you could do that on this one. On the new Nexus 7, it's a unibody design, so you can't take the back part off. Also, if you look on the sides, on the new Nexus 7, your microphone is on the side, and on the old one, your microphone is on the back, on the top. Also on the back, if you see the old Nexus 7 has that kind of golf ball look to it, that textured look to it. On the new Nexus 7, it's a nice, sleek, you know, kind of like matte finish. Both of these finishes are nice, 
I actually kind of like this, um, you know, golf ball look. But on the new one, it doesn't have the gray along the sides. So that unibody design just makes it look more sleek. So now it looks like an all black everything tab instead of having black with the silver on the sides and then the black on the back again. So that's another major difference right there. Also, stereo speakers. Now, on the old Nexus 7, you just got one set of speakers right here in the back. On the new one, you got speakers on the top and the bottom. Okay, so a lot of people are going to say, you know, if I already had the old Nexus 7, should I get the new, new Nexus 7? Well, definitely, because it's an upgrade. Now you got a camera. Now you got dual speakers. You know, it's just, it's just an upgrade. Is it the, the new Nexus 7 to me is running Android 4.3 which is running super smooth. Now, keep in mind, when you first get this and you pull it out the box and you power it on, it's going to be running Android 4.2. 4 so as soon as you power it on, it's going to ask you to do an update. So you're going to update it, and it's going to put the Android 4.3 on it, and then it's going to be another update right after that. So as soon as you get this and you take it out the box, two fresh updates out the box. But after I did the updates, I noticed that it's running super smooth. No lag on this tablet at all. Now, this is a basic stock Android tablet. When I get into the real review, we'll get into all of the features and all that. I just wanted to show you all what it looks like coming out the box. You got your quick settings right there. And you got your notification bar right there. You got your app drawer with all your apps. And one thing about... Um, the new Google Play Store that I'm really feeling is when you get a new device, as soon as you put your Google password in and all that, it automatically starts downloading all your apps. So I didn't even sit there and take the time to download all of these apps, but um, once I signed in, they all just popped up. No lag at all. Tablet is super light. This tablet is a go. But like I said, the best part about this tablet is the display. Now, you probably can't see it in the video. But the display on this is just, is just insane. Let me see if I could. Let me see if I have any pictures on here. I doubt it because um, haven't really did anything. But let's take a look and see what we got. Maybe we got some Google Plus stuff on here. Like, okay, let's take a look at a, a, a one picture that I do happen to have on here. I mean, the display on this is just so sharp. It's so crystal clear. It's amazing. Like I said, better than the iPad Retina display, better than your Nexus 10, better than your Samsung Galaxy Note 8.0, better than your Note 10.1, better than everything that you got in your house right now. This has the best display. The best. Nice slim form factor, easy to hold in your hand. On a scale of 1 to 10, fresh out the box, I'm giving this, I'm going to give this a solid 9. Okay, now there's already a couple of things about it that I don't like, but I'm going to try to play with it a little bit more and try to see if I can get around that. And we'll talk about that in a real review. Y'all know whenever I do a real review, I always talk about what I don't like first, and then we get into all the features I do like. So far, there's one or two things that I'm not really feeling about it. But um, like I said, for $229, this is a definite go right here. You can't beat that for the price. All right, you can't beat that. Now, there's no micro SD card sock. That's one thing I'm not feeling so far. Another thing I'm not feeling is when you go all your apps, you can't get rid of all your apps at once. You got to swipe all of these one by one. Okay, so that's another thing that I'm not really feeling. Like I said, when I get into the real review, we'll touch on everything I'm not feeling. Hopefully, I'll find some ways around that, you know, everything that I'm, that I'm not feeling. Maybe they have a little fix for it. Maybe I have something in the, app, in the app world that I could get. You know, we'll see how it goes. But fresh out the box, on a scale of 1 to 10, I'm giving this a solid 9. This is a definite go. All right. Now, if you got your original Nexus 7, do you have to run out and sell it to go get the new one? I would say yes, because now you're getting the camera. Now you're getting the stereo speakers. Now you're getting your headphone jack at the top where it belongs. You know what I'm saying? You're getting a nice matte finish on the back. You know, you get the unibody design. I don't know how many of y'all ever dropped your original Nex Nexus and the back part came off. That happened to me before, too. So you won't happen to worry about that with this one. And that's because once you take the back off this, it never goes back on 100% the same. It's going to be a little bit loose. So if you drop it down the stairs or something, the back part may fly off. But you won't have that problem on the new Nexus 7. So if you had the old Nexus 7, now nah, you don't have to run out and sell it for $50 just so you could get this one. No, don't do that. 
But if you got somebody you could give this one away to, maybe you want to give it to your daughter, give it to your son, and pick up the next generation one, then do that. Or if you never had a Nexus and you're in the market for stock Android tablet, skip this one and go straight to the new Nexus. All right, because that camera is a, is a big deal for when you're out in the street. You're at the DMV or whatever. You never know what can happen. It's always good to have a nice camera right at your fingertips. All right. So I'm going to get back with y'all next week when I do the real review. I'm going to play with it. I'm going to use this as my daily driver. I'm going to use it as my main tablet because everybody knows my favorite tablet right now is my Galaxy Note 8.0. But now we're going to put that down to the side for a minute. We're going to use the Nexus 7 as the main joint. And I'll get back with y'all in the real review. Shout out to everybody that rock with me on Facebook, Foursquare, Twitter, Google+. Shout out to all the Google gangsters. I see y'all holding down that Facebook page. Shout out to everybody hitting me up on Voxer. And a special shout out to everybody rocking with me on Instagram. Y'all know that's where we at full time, 100%. If you want to follow me on Instagram, it's Flossy underscore Carter. All right? Oh, yeah. And by the way, all y'all haters, all y'all trolls, I won't even finish it. I'm going to let, yo, know, all the real, all my real followers, all my real subscribers and all that, y'all know what I'm about to say. Throw it in the comment. Let these haters and trolls know what y'all want them to do in the comments. So I ain't even got to say it. It's your boy Floss. I catch up with y'all in the next trip. Deuces.